What's up everyone? Let's play a little game today. I'm going to get a 5 of a kind during this video and your job is going to be to guess which 5 of a kind I will get. I'll give you a little hint, it's tier 5. So uh, if you manage to guess it, I'll give you a cookie in the end. But uh, for now, we are going to try to get until the end game with the team that we have. We currently have a double mod, double bluebird setup with a duck that is 3-3. I'm positioning for a draw because it's easier to scale up tier 5 and 6 units with a T-Rex or something like that in the end game. Unfortunately here though we face grounded and his team is a little bit weak so we managed to defeat him there which is not the best thing. Thankfully here at least we have two level ups for this turn and uh, their puppy plus goldfish. I think I'm going to take the goldfish first, yep. Goldfish first because... It has a chance of receiving the bluebird buff, which is going to make it a 3-5. Uh, it also synergizes quite nicely with the mods, and it's going to generate one extra goat as well if we include it a turn earlier. Let's see how we do here. It's looking pretty scary, but it's actually a draw. They had a big iguana at the front, but uh, thankfully that wasn't big enough to stop us. We get another goldfish plus a hatching chick. I don't think I need the second goldfish so early on, so I think I'll take the hatching chick in this situation. Like having a big scaled up goldfish at the front line is just perfect, especially if it's going to receive an extra attack buff from the bluebird. It doesn't, but the hatching chick does, and that's also pretty nice because the hatching chick is going to be second position, so we wanted to have a little bit of uh, stats. Here we win once again against the star pack, another iguana player. Thankfully puppy pack does not have a lot of summons, I think it's only the sturgeon and the eagle. And I guess the mole, but uh, I don't really count the mole for summons. But uh, yeah, thankfully iguana and royal flycatcher and stuff like that isn't going to uh, be very problematic for us. Another star pack team, this time they have double stork, but uh, we still manage to win despite the good stork summons. We freeze a lasagna here, I think I'm going to save it up for a potential tier 5 unit on next year. So yeah, my job for now is just to set up for some level ups, we have one in the goldfish, and I'm buying Christ on all of this stuff because it's going to enable easier pivots. And you can see the goldfish is very big, it's an 810 already. Uh, unfortunately their uh, units have the exact amount of stats needed to counter us, but uh, we don't mind that, like uh, we've only lost one life so far. And we have the first tier 5 of the game, it's chicken or stonefish, which one will I take? You can take a guess in the comments. But you can see I'm taking the chicken right here because I want to scale up the shop for maybe potentially future tier 5 units that we'll get to see in there. And uh, I'm trying to make it useful by giving it a lasagna, it's also going to receive the hatching chick buff as well as the garlic, so I'm hoping it's good enough to at least help out a little bit with all of the clearance. And uh, thankfully it was strong enough that it secured us a draw. Getting a small error here, I've been getting it a lot, I, I've been complaining about it, but I think it's just my internet connection, honestly. Whatever the case, we keep scaling the shop, we buy cans, unfortunately we don't find another can, I don't think a goldfish level is necessary there, it's probably going to be sold eventually. But uh, I would expect here for us to lose, because we didn't improve the team at all. Uh, let's see, yeah it's looking like a very convincing close, but uh, whatever the case, we're still at 3 hearts on turn 9, the shop is scaled up somewhat, so all that's left for us to do is find a good tier 5 unit to get the 5 of a kind with. I'm trying to level up the chicken here because uh, I really want some more shop scaling, the team, or like the, the shop rather is looking pretty weak right now. But you can see the eagle is already a 9-8, so after we sell the duck onto it, we include it in the team, so maybe this will be the tier 5 unit that we get the 5 of a kind of. Uh, for now I'm just hoping that it carries us, uh, it does a pretty good job honestly combined with the mod, it takes out their biggest unit. We take a level here into a T-Rex, so that's just perfect. 
we are going to include it in the team. We have two buff targets for it. And uh, if we manage to find the third one, like uh, another chicken or another eagle, we'll be very happy. I'm considering their uh, canned food for a second, but I think chocolate is just so much better. Like either on the chicken or the T-Rex for some extra scaling, I think is uh, way better than a single canned food. But uh, yeah, you can see the shop is pretty lucky for us. We get double chocolate plus another chicken. So we'll get more scaling for the team with the T-Rex level up and we'll get more scaling for the shop as well with the chicken level up. Unfortunately, here we lose to a turtle pack. But we do find double chicken and uh, with the chocolates, I think we have uh, more than enough gold, especially after selling the goldfish in order to get a double level 2 chicken as well as a, a level 2 T-Rex and even now another one. Let's take another level here. It's another T-Rex. Because I said it was a tier 5 unit, I can't really bait you by saying that I'm going 5 of a kind T-Rex, but it was a real possibility, especially given the win-loss ratio and my T-Rex luck in the shop. I think we found 4 T-Rexes in the shop so far, which is kind of crazy to think about, especially on turn 11. But uh, yeah, we freeze another chicken, so maybe you're starting to be more and more convinced that we're going 5 of a kind chicken. But at this point in the video, I can say that if you've watched yesterday's 5 orca video, you might have a better idea of go what is going to happen. Thankfully here we draw, which is just excellent. More turns of T-Rex scaling, more turns of chicken scaling. Uh, I might even sell the eagle eventually for another T-Rex or another chicken, but for now it's doing uh, wonders for us. Let's end the turn here, see what we get. We are matched up against another turtle pack player, but thankfully the mat was very generous to us and we managed to win there. Uh, these kind of runs are very scary when you're greeting a lot with stats and the enemy have uh, the ability pets. So yeah, it's just <laughs> you're helping that uh, your stats are good enough for you to win. I find the lionfish here, but I don't think we have the time to take it. I was thinking about putting a lionfish at the back in order to buy ourselves some more time, but I don't think at 7 wins that is the optimal play, so I think I'll pretty quickly give up on it. Yeah, you can see me consider considering there for a second selling the eagle, but the eagle has a lot better stats than the lionfish as well, which is a deciding factor, but uh, yeah, we give up on it and uh, you can see now my real intentions. We get an anglerfish frozen as well as a chocolate, I would assume. Yep, I'm thinking about it and I'm finally freezing it. So yeah, the intention is going to be to steal a unit from the opponent. So props to you if you manage to guess a five of a kind from another pack. But uh, it's not decided yet, you'll have to see what uh, happens in the future, as we win here once again. I'm thinking about maybe transitioning into the 5 of a kind already, but I'm just going to level up the chicken, hoping to find another angler from the level, which we thankfully do. And we also find another chocolate, so we'll have a lot of shop scaling, even if we manage to lose here. It's looking like a window because they don't have the stats on units apart from the muskox. It's it's pretty weak. But yeah, we, we win them convincingly. So yeah, let's start angling, I guess. We can sell the chickens now, I believe. Let's start making some space in the shop so no pets or food accidentally gets deleted. So first angler, we find a Nyala, so we take that. Emu was also a valid option if you had guessed that because it's also a tier 5 unit, but for now Nayala is looking more likely than Emu, I must say. We have Muskox plus Catfish here, which neither of them are tier 5. And uh, I already have a Nayala on the team, which I think is a better unit than the Catfish in our scenario, so I think I'm going to commit to Nayala here. But I, I will buy the catfish in, in case that uh, the angler gives us nothing but catfish. I'll try my luck with catfish, but uh, you know that's not going to happen. We find Nayawa number 2 and number 3, so we include those in the team. 
Uh, I'm freezing denial in case we get a... Never mind. <laughs> uh, I was going to say that freezing denial is also a valid play in case we get uh, more uh, catfish in the future. But you can see we're full on on the Nayala. Blurring Toctopus is also a tier 5 pet, but it's not the 5 of a kind we're going for. And uh, we are one angling away from the 5 of a kind Nayala, but sadly we don't have the gold. We are just one gold short, so what do you do here? The answer is you sell the Blurring Toctopus. And then you sell another Nayala to, to hopefully find the last 3. And that's exactly what happens. That was super lucky there. Unfortunately, we don't have a toy pet in the shop in order to buy sell from some, for some extra advantage. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the team. If you had guessed Nayala, congratulations to you. I'll put a cookie on screen right now for your reward. And I hope you enjoyed the team. I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.